Hey YouTube, today we're going to chop up some drums from a sample in Reason, put them on a Kong, and play them back on a 16 pads or a keyboard, whatever you have. So first we're going to launch Reason using Reason 7.1.1, 7 it's the latest version as of right now, and uh, not using any rack extensions. I'm going to go into my folder where I have my song, drag it onto the icon, I think if you're in Windows, you can drag it straight into here. Uh, this is a song called Priceless by Incubus. And I'm going to turn this down a little bit. In the beginning, there are some bare drums. It's a real crunchy, roomy sound, real, real heavily compressed, and it's a cool sound. And here's how the beginning is. So you heard around bar four, the guitars came in, we'll chop it there, kill the rest of it, and bring these in closer. I'm going to zoom in, and I'm going to turn off the snapping, just do this by eye, and we'll see where this sounds like it loops over. Seems like it was right around there, old school MPC style, just eyeballing it. And... Eh, this could be a little bit closer. Avoid some clicks and pops. All right. Slide that over to the beginning. Hit P to set the markers and loop playback. Sounds pretty good to me. Uh, now, if we took if we look at the warp markers, they will be kind of screwy. We don't have the uh, this set to any tempo. So I'm going to turn the snapping on to one bar. Hold Alt and time stretches into one bar at 120. It's a little fast. Take it down to 100. Again, I'm just guessing here. Hear what that sounds like. See if it's a clean loop. It's a little fast still. 84. I'm making shit up, folks. Yeah, 93. That was maybe a good year. Now, if you're going to play this back as a loop, play with the tempo, you get different pitches, of course. But we, what we want is to double-click it and grab these markers here. And, of course, if you're in the comp edit, if you uh, have comped together some drums, bounce it out, take the top, bounce, and then you should be able to open it like this. Grab these, right click on one of them, bounce to a new Rex loop. Now we're not, we shouldn't need this anymore, so I'm just gonna mute it so we don't hear it. And of course, if you want to use it as a loop, you can just double click that from the tool window, you got a loop. And of course you can play that back pads if that's how you if that's the uh, the sampler you like to use you can use the slice edit to change the pitch of certain ones a fil filter of certain slices but if we're talking about an MPC the quickest way I like to do it is to set the first pad to a Rex nurse Rex and you go into the song samples <laughs> Choose that one. We don't need this. We're going to go in here, set every pad to pad one. And set them all to chunk trig. Otherwise, each pad is just going to play the whole loop. And if we set them to slice trig, it'll play one per slice. And let's say you have. 32 slices, chunk trick will set each pad to play two slices. It's kind of like 16 chops, except they're not 16 equal chops, they're 16 equal zones by beats, not by time, not by 16th notes. So, 
I'm gonna set this to full level on my controller. Clean kick there, kick, some snares. Long, long snare. There's maybe a uh, three. Is, maybe you could use that as a hat if we turn the decay down. Damn it. Kind of lost that crunchy feeling, but. Uh, Let's take this down a little bit. Let's take that down to 84, actually. And put a little loop together. Put on the click. Put on the pre-click. And... Right-click and quantize that, and... Take off the full level. Just want straight sixteenths. We'll put some groove on with the uh, with the regroove mixer in a minute. That might be have been too many. notes. Let's quantize those. Let's put the whole bit on regroove one. Put that shovel up to 63 or so. We should have something sounds a little like hip hop. you can uh, keep that real roomy compressed sound that's hard to not hard but you know it takes some work you find something that's good if it sounds good it is good you don't want to have that real roomy sound you're just looking for some inspiration you want to do some sound design take that decay right down and the vibe's different already So there you go, there you have it. That's how you uh, chop up a drum break in Reason, put it on uh, Kong like an MPC, every pad cuts off every other pad, and uh, works great for chops that have vocals, parts that have melodic strings or piano chords, and uh, have fun, best of luck. Let's chop out that last part.